everyone, so this is part two of my super duper massive haul. This bit, this part is um, my lips and MAC brushes and any other sort of beauty related stuff I got. Go watch part one to watch my eyes and face makeup. So yeah, if you want to keep watching the lips and other stuff, keep watching. So I'm going to start off with lips. So I got two EOS balms, I got summer fruits, and I got pink sorbet or strawberry sorbet, I can't remember. But this one smells a lot like peaches and I don't really like it. But it's really good for a balm, so I'm going to keep this in my bag. Uh, this one is really, really good. I love the smell of it so much. It reminds me of like candies and good stuff. And the balm is just really nice as well. So I love the shape. It's just so cool. It's like Eastery. Um, then I got like a little Mac set. And it came with these three products. It came with a lip liner, a dazzle glass, and it came with lipstick. Um, it was called, um, It's a Girl. I can't remember what the collection was called, but this is the products it came with. Um, yeah. Mm, I love the dazzle glass. The dazzle glass is beautiful. I love it so much. The lipstick, I love the color, but I'm not too sure of the formula. It's kind of a bit meh. But the lip liner is way, way, way too dark. And I don't know. It's just really drying. Like, it's not, it's just super duper drying. I don't really like it, so. Sad face. Um, then I got three Maybelline lipsticks. I got Born With It, Pink Freeze, and Pearly Pink. Okay. I got Born With It because it reminded me of the other lipstick, which I really like, which is Discontinued by Maybelline. And it's a really pretty color. It's a little bit darker than my other one, and has, but it still has gold shimmer in it, so I'm really happy. Um, then I got this pearly kind of one. This one, if I like, if you like swatch it, it looks just like glitter. But then when I put it on my lips, it looks super duper light. And I'm like, oh my god. But if I put some like darker kind of glass on it, it looks so pretty. Then I got Pink Freeze, which is a kind of, it looks really dark, but it isn't that dark. But it is really, really pretty, and it's really shiny, because it's part of that shiny kind of collection thing. Uh, then I got two of the lip stains in In the Buff and Wink of Pink. This is super duper dark. Like, this one you think, oh, it's going to be really light. No, it's like a toffee kind of color. Like... It's a nude dark. It's a dark nude. It's like, what? This one is like a red. I'm going to keep this because I needed a red lipstick or something red because of fall and stuff. But, what? Super duper weird. Um, then I got a lipstick from Lancome, which is Pink Preview. And it's a matte. And it is such, such a, such a pretty colour. Like, I wore this almost every day because of how gorgeous it was. But then I was like, oh my god, there's that much. I'm not going to use it every day anymore. So, yeah. It's so pretty. Um, then I got this, um, I don't know what to call it. Chapstick by a cover girl, Natural Luxe. And it's in the colour Sandstone. It's such a pretty, pretty kind of pink. I wish I got another one because I used that much in two weeks. Like, I really loved it so much. And, yeah. And it has SPF in it, which is good. Okay, that's all my lip products. And I'm now going to go on to MAC makeup brushes. This is from three different trips. And, yes. Um, there's a lot. Um... I was, replace I was replacing all the brushes I had because they were getting really gross. Some of them were breaking. Some of them were just awful. So I thought, oh, I'll just get all new MAC ones. So I did. I'm not bragging. I am kind of... I don't know the word. I love that I got them, but I kind of regret buying so many at one point. Like, I could have bought other stuff and saved a little bit. But 
I'm glad I got them because they'll last forever. So I'll start off with face. I got mostly um what they call eye brushes. Yeah, I got the 187, which is the more bigger synthetic brush, dual fiber brush, and needs cleaning. Um, yeah, it, it's a lot smaller than the other dual one that I was using for my face. Like, I was like, wait, am I wrong? Is this the small one? No, it's the bigger one. Uh, it's really soft, really nice, and yeah, it's just really good. It's really good for putting on foundation because I put it, I use this because this is one of my first makeup brushes. I used this one to put my foundation on before I went on vacation. Oh my gosh, it made me look so flawless. I was like, whoa! And I didn't even use a primer, I just used foundation, and that was that. So, yeah, really liking that. Um, then I got this powder brush, the 129. It's not that fluffy because I haven't had it for that long. Um, yeah, this is a really good brush. It's kind of, it's not as soft as this one. This one's just like so soft. And, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's a good powder brush because I didn't have that many cheap products before. And now I've got tons, so I have an excuse to use this a lot. Um, then I got the smaller version of the 187, and I got the 188, which is a lot smaller, and I thought this one would be good for my nose, and just other places I just need smoothing out. Then I got the 190, which is a paddle normal foundation brush. Haven't used this yet, but it's really thin compared to the one I had before, so I'm really excited to use this. And I got a Kabuki, the 182. Which is this big fat kabuki and it's so soft. Oh, so soft. It's just so good for good putting on powder and all that sort of jazz. Then the rest are eyeshadow brushes. Um, okay. I got the 222, which is like this, the white one. Um, I like this one more because it was more firm. I don't, is that right from because the other one when I pushed my finger down it just went and I was like oh that's kind of sucky but I still want to get it but um yeah I got that one. Oh, I missed a face one this one's so small uh, I got the 195 which is a concealer brush really good for under eyes uh, but the only problem is it's already like the MAC it's already coming off on this one sad face but anyways back to f eyes <laughs> um then I got the 119, which is like a pencil brush. This is really good for um, under the eyes, even though I don't use it that much. I use this more for like um, putting colors in that outer corner, which is really good for that. Then I got the 117, the one everyone gets. And hmm, I like this for a crease. This is quite good. I really liked it, but I still prefer my Lancome one, the 17. Lol, by 17. It's a little fluffier, but I still really like it. Uh, I got the 239, which is just a normal eyeshadow brush. This is really good. I really like this one. This is probably, hmm, this is one of my favorites. I got the angled brush, the 266. I use this one for my brows because I use the one that came with my gel liner if I'm doing my um eyeliner. Because I don't use pencil. I use either gel or this liquid one. Then I got the 226, which is limited edition from the Mac Mover Collection. I think it's a, a re-promote. But um, I got this on my birthday when the day it came out. So I was really excited. Um, I haven't used this yet. Because I didn't wear makeup the day after my birthday. Because we were all packing up and running around like headless chickens so I didn't use this but it's gonna be really good for like my outer corner and stuff because the 119 the one yeah the 119 was a little bit too small but yeah this one will be really good and then I got the 227 which is this like huge like brush for um doing highlight 
which is really pretty for that. So yeah, that's the MAC brushes that I got. And on to the randoms, I suppose. I got a brow comb from Sephora because my other one was broke. Like, it broke there. So it was like... Oh. So I got another one from Sephora. I like this one because it kind of matches my MAC ones. Except from that's black. But just the handle is black. So I thought it was quite cool. Um... Then I got an NYX sharpener for my jumbo eyeshadow pencils because they were getting pretty short and I just needed one like really quick. Um, I got the Son Sonia Kashuk makeup sponge. I wanted it in pink but they only had blue at the Target I went to but I really wanted it. Oh my god this sponge feels like really soft and really nice. I use it to blend in concealer that's why it's a little bit dirty at the top. Um, then I got a uh, perfume. Well, a rollerball. Both, because I didn't want to get a huge one. I got the Someday, the Justin Bieber one. I don't like... I'm not a fan of Justin Bieber's music at all, but I just like the smell. Because everyone was like, oh, you like Justin Bieber? I'm like, no. I like the smell. They were like, oh, yeah, yeah, me too, me too. I'm like, sure. <laughs> Whatever you say. Um, then I got two OPI nail polishes. I got Nomad's Dream. These are like my first ones. I haven't used them yet. But oh my gosh, this one's so pretty. It's like a pink brown with like green kind of shimmer. It's just so pretty. Then I got this one which is I mainly eat lobster. And I don't know. I just thought it was a really pretty colour and it's got like it's like a pink with kind of gold kind of shimmer in it and it is just so pretty. Um, and I got three Sally Hansen nail effects. I'm wearing one right now. It is the pink glittery one. I've forgotten the name of it. Um, but yeah, I got three more. I got Fly With Me, which is a butterfly one. I've used a butterfly one before, but I just got another one because I thought it was so pretty. And I love it. Um, then I got the lace one, which is being really good for winter, which is the Laced Up. Which I thought, I don't know, I just can't wait to use this. And I got Kitty Kitty, which is the leopard one that's always used on all the um, makeup pads. I love this one because it's like glittery kind of gold. Um, I'm probably going to wear this on my first day back to school because it would just look really cool. Like, yeah. I'm not really one for animal prints, but like big ones. I don't like wearing animal print shirts, but I like it like little. Like, I'll wear animal print, like, necklaces or rings or bracelets. But, yeah, I like it, like, in moderation, so. And then I got this really, really, really cute makeup bag. Um, I went to Disney World, and this was in the Japan shop. And it has, like, a little bunny rabbit, and it's, like, ears all floppy. I don't think it's meant to be. I think it's meant to be, like, stuck up like that. But I kind of like it floppy, because it reminds me of the, um, book. I used to read, like the Peter Rabbit ones like Flopsy Mopsy and Cottontail and they had like one here that was flopped down, which I thought was so sweet and then I got MAC blush not blush, brush cleanser since I got all these MAC brushes I thought, heck, I should look after them properly so I got a bottle um, then I got the Clean and Clear Finishes Mattifying Moisturizer whoops um, mm, I like this. It's really strange how it really, really quickly mattifies your face. I'm like, whoa. Like, there's no shiny anymore. And then I got a new makeup remover, the Neutrogena one. Because my one back home, uh, the L'Oreal one, uh, was running out. And I just like thought, oh, just get a new one. Didn't realise there isn't many of them. <laughs> and I just found the Neutrogena one. And I was just like, oh, like, I've heard of this brand. I'll just, like, pick it up. It is the best uh, makeup remover. It removes everything. Like, if I wear mascara, usually I've got to spend, like, a while trying to get it off. This one, one quick, like, swoop of it. And it's basically almost gone. So, I am... Thumbs up. So, yeah, this video is getting really, really long, so I hope you enjoyed my 
final end of my haul. Um, so yeah, bye-bye and have a nice day!